What is up everyone, it's your boy Jay Semp, and we are back here with another quarantine art video. Today, we're getting desperate again. I decided to collect a bunch of CVS receipts and decided that we are going to be creating a piece of art on these receipts. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And I'm doing this as a way to show you guys that you can really create art on anything. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be pasting these CVS receipts on this piece of cardboard and then gonna be making an epic drawing on this piece of cardboard. Leave a comment below if you wanna see this happen again, cause I have lots of cardboard, lots of receipts. Also comment, let me know uh, what other videos you guys wanna see. And if you haven't already and you wanna show your support, please like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is paste down these CVS receipts. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse of that right now, and you're probably seeing me doing it. I don't want it to do it perfectly. I wanna do a bit of an overlapping of the receipts just to add texture to it. This is our canvas that we have to work with. Do I know what we're gonna be creating? I've honestly not thought about that yet. So I'm gonna take a couple seconds to think about that or we can just start drawing. We're just gonna start drawing. Got a weird assortment of colors here. I think purely colored pencil could actually be really, really nice. And I think by cutting off the bottom half of the face, it automatically integrates you into the piece and draws you into it. And it's not just capturing the moment, it's being a part of the moment. Oh, yep, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this a dripping eye. The eye's gonna be dripping down this person's head. I kind of want to make his face just totally purple. Purples and pinks, and then make the eye just... Oh, yeah, and then I'll make the eye turquoise. Oh, The good thing about colored pencil is that you get saturated colors, but the reason why I wanted to do colored pencil on these receipts is you can still see through it. I'm going to be coming in and blending these this first colored pencil layer with a layer of white. Okay, so now we are working on the eye. I'm going to start by creating these drips. So the way that the texture is on these receipts, it's not really capturing the full saturation of the colored pencil in the way that I want it to for these drips. So that's why I'm going to be coming in with highlighter and I think it will really pop. And the remaining parts that are still turquoise are actually going to just add more depth overall. So now I'm going to be continuing on the eye and adding depth to the eyeball itself as well as the surrounding skin on the eye, like on top and on the bottom. Now an eyeball, you may think that it's white, but it's actually a multitude of colors and you can use things like blues, purples, all that good stuff to get a nice sense of shading. So now I am coming in with the black colored pencil for the background. What I'm first doing is I am outlining exactly what I want not to be in black so that I don't accidentally go over it. So now I'm gonna be finishing up the piece by adding a little bit more details, coming in with some darker tones with pen, and then finally going to be adding some highlights. It looks like we are coming to a close very very close to finishing and looks like it's time for a little bit of a montage well i hope you guys enjoyed that video i know again it was a little bit of a weird one but it was a lot of fun to do and i hope it inspired you guys to make any art from things that are around your house while you guys are cooped up in quarantine as always i hope you guys are staying safe if you haven't already please consider subscribing to show your support gently tap that like button and as always thanks for watching